Hey there, my name is Kat and I'm a beauty therapist living and working in Adelaide, South Australia and today I'm here to give you my honest review of the Tape SA short course uh, facial threading and henna brow design. So I enrolled into this course purely for my love of brows. Before I became a beauty therapist, I overplucked, overwaxed and really just damaged the hair follicles. So I don't really grow much hair in some places. There's a little scar in one of my brows and they're just not ideal. So in the past, I've tried um, as a client getting microblading, which did and didn't work for me. And um, I've always found that I've had to always apply brown makeup, whether that be powder or pomade. Tinting was good because it actually changed the hair color, but I already have really quite dark brows and I was really just wanting to stain the skin to create that, I guess, powdered look that everybody goes for. So in terms of treatments in the beauty industry, I found there was nothing intermediate between um, permanent, which would be microblading or ombre brows or tattooing and tinting, which really was a one to two day um, skin staining. So when I came across henna, I just thought, wow, this would be so great for me to just do on my brows every day. They say that the tint actually lasts on the, sorry, on the skin for about one to two weeks and the hair for up to four weeks. So as soon as I saw this, I thought it'd be great. I'm enrolling into this and I'm gonna get the products to try at home. So. I also um, liked the idea of threading because it really is um, kind of like a low cost way and easier and good for um, more sensitive skin types for removing hair so you don't actually have to take away a layer of the skin as you would with waxing so that also appealed to me, to me as well. Uh, so one of the positives to this course was that it was offered in a three day um, after our kind of workout. So it was between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. So that gave me the flexibility to go to work during the day, attend to my appointments. My workplace was great because they gave me an hour early to finish, so finishing at about five, and I was able to drive straight to the city, to the Adelaide City campus. Um, once we got there, the first, um, the first day was really just a bit of introduction to facial threading, henna, and um, we just went through the history of it and just the little bits and pieces you needed to know. That's when Francine did a demonstration of um, facial threading, gave us a bit of a chance to learn the skill, practice on each other, and then at the end, we actually did a henna demonstration as well. Some of the girls bring in clients for the first day and for the others, like myself, uh, we just practiced on each other. So, I really uh, loved the idea of this um, course being set out in three days because well, three um, after hour sessions, mainly um, for the flexibility um, and also so you can kind of practice the skill over weeks so you're not just bombarded with all the information and it's kind of like here, take that, go take that into the real world now. So I thought that was really nice, you build upon the knowledge. Uh, also, I forgot to mention before Francine was the lecturer, I think that was definitely a big plus for the course. When I um, enrolled into the course, I thought to myself, oh, I wonder how experienced the lecturers are actually going to be in this. Uh, because to my knowledge, I know that threading has been around for many years and it is more of an Eastern culture um, kind of thing that they do just at home. And henna has only really become prop really popular and a huge treatment in the last few years. So I kind of doubted the skills and I wasn't sure how much they would know, but I was definitely surprised with um, Francine's knowledge and her, uh, yeah, just foundations of skills. She's been doing it for quite a while and always had an answer to all the questions in the class. She was really motivating and, you know, threading isn't the easiest thing and, <laughs> I, I had a bit of trouble with it myself and she, you know, came up with ways to adjust it to, um, you know, adjust the technique for me and others. So I thought that was really great. I think when it all comes down to how a course um, plays out in the end, it all really comes down to the lecturer and their personality and their ability to teach and inspire. So definitely give a 10 out of 10 for um, Francine's efforts. Um, 
yeah, definitely not a bad word. So thank you if you're watching Francine. Uh, also, I said before, I liked that it was good that we could have practice clients. So we were able to organize um, clients to come in at a specific time and actually do the treatment as you would in your own clinic or spa. Uh, it was really easy to book the course um, through the TPSA website. It's quite a low cost. Um, I wouldn't think it's anything ridiculous. It's definitely affordable. Uh, the products we used were the Henna Brow Australia and so far so good. I've heard good things about them and the products were quite easy to use. And um, I also really liked that this course allowed you to have prior knowledge before going in. So to the, more to the negative side, of this review, which isn't really a negative, but if you're wanting to start this course um, as a foundation for uh, you know, facial, facial um, hair removal and brow design as your first ever course, I wouldn't recommend it. Basically because this course assumes that you have prior knowledge with brow sculpting, brow shaping, and just you know the general the general information for um, working in a spa or a clinic. So I'd say that would be the downside, but it's also a plus because we didn't have to go through information that we already knew as therapists. So that's kind of on par there. And um, the, I guess another negative that I didn't really like, um, but they've given us an opportunity to learn it more in detail was that the, there wasn't heaps of information on how to mix the henna colors. Francine was great at giving us so, so much coaching on this. So we definitely um, were able to take away all the information, um, but it would have been nice to have a color chart maybe um, and a bit more specific information on the brand and the colors available and just really how to mix. I found it was kind of a hit and miss and it's definitely something that takes practice. So um, this is where Francine was able to recommend more of an advanced course that was um, held by the Henna Brow Australia rep. Um, so that is something that is available to learn more on brow sculpting, um, brow shaping, all, all the nitty gritties of henna basically. So that comes with pluses and negatives. Um, all in all, pretty happy with the course. So definitely, if I had to rate it out of 10, I'd give it about a 9 out of 10. Um, only because I'd like those little bits of information, but I can understand that that specific information should be delivered by the specific brand. So, like I said, very happy with the course, and I hope this video helps you to decide whether you want to enroll into it or not. I know that TFSA has a couple of other um, short courses, and um, all in all, my experience with TFSA Adelaide has been really, really great. And... Um, yeah, really rewarding and inspiring. All the lecturers there that I've come across have just been beautiful people and just they have a big love and passion for the industry, which I think is really, really important. So thank you so much for watching and um, I hope to do a few more review videos like this. I just recently graduated with my Diploma of Remedial Massage Therapy uh, from the Australian Institute of Fitness. So I'm gonna have a, another review coming up soon talking about my experience for any therapists that are in, um, interested really in enrolling into that course. All right, thanks so much. Take care, leave me a comment and um, any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Take care, bye.